Hey guys, welcome back to Zero's Hobbies, and it was October. <laughs> this is a little late, and I apologize, but just know I've been working on this stuff for a while. But today, we're going to take a look at the Warhammer 40k Orcs Combat Patrol. Um, it's uh, about $130, $135, um, one of the more expensive ones I don't know. But whatever, they're all about the same cost. Combat patrols are between 125 and 136, something like that. Yeah, I think this is no, this is 133. Anyway, so I started an orc army, and I just, you know, I wanted to try something new, new me, new army. You know what I'm saying? And I have a lot of stuff to paint, and I want to get these guys done. Because it's just a combat patrol and, and some buggies. But I want to get them done just to have something done. I might add to the army. I'm pretty sure I will. But I want to get these done. So, anyway. That's enough rambling. Let's get over to the table. So we can see what comes inside this box. Sit tight, guys. Here we are, man. Warhammer 40k Orcs Combat Patrol box set. You're probably thinking to yourself, but Zero, why are you getting Orcs? Because, shut up. Alright, here we got the back. You get three Death Coptas, one War Boss, Death Dread, and you get 20 boys. And obviously the knobs that come with the boys. But this is cool. This is a cool starting set. Um, it's pretty expensive, one hundred and thirty dollars. But for those getting into Warhammer Forty K, this is probably one of the better. These combat patrols are probably the better deals right off the bat because you're obviously getting one of these models or maybe more for free or close to it, and you're getting a really good starting set. Like you've got your HQ, your Two true choices if you play ninth. You got a heavy support and you got a fast attack. That's that's pretty rounded out. You know, um, so getting everything back in the day, they would call these things battle forces. Okay, they were the original, the original box sets were called battle forces. They were this about this big. Uh, obviously, they were way cheap. There was about 95 bucks at the most. Yeah, I think they were all $95 when they dropped. Um, Matter of fact, most of my club mates, my old club mates, got started with those battle forces. You know, the Dark Eldar one, the Necron one, the Tau one, you know, and, and they're pretty much the same with the exception of like the newer models. Obviously, this has got all the new Orc boys, the newer Def Coptas, and that new uh, boss in Mega Armor. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's crack this open and see what's inside. All right, here we have the instruction sheet, or booklet, sorry. And it gives you everything you need to know about how to build these models. So these are snap fit models from one, yeah, they're snap fit. But that's still, you know, if you're getting started, great. And if you're a veteran and you have a ton of old orc models, old boys, this is a great little addition to boys because you can never have enough boys, right? And the Death Coptas. I'm wondering if this is the same as the Def Copter kit you can buy. I know the Def Dread is the same. I know that guy's the same. So that's kind of cool. He's a full kit. You get all the different weapon options. You can make him shooty or you can make him choppy. Very cool. You got your bag of bases. Um, and I'm going to try something different this time with these guys. I'm going to I'm gonna try and actually... Paint the ba paint and base the bases. <laughs> base the bases. <sighs> That's funny. I'm gonna base the bases before I put the models on. I know a lot of people do it, and I've never done that before this way. But I'm gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens. All right. Here is the Death Tread Sprues. Um. Not a, it's not a new kit, but it's 
newer than the original death dreads that just look like big killer cans and the cool shoulder pads all the orky detail i really think that they got the feel of the army with the design of this just like the buggies you know and the new truck and the new battle wagon they they really nailed the feel that mad max orky feel you know what i mean like they built it from scraps because that's just what they know how to do so there you go that's the death dread pretty cool here we have the death coptas and it's just two big sprues or three little sprues if you can you know because they're separated there but um really cool detail man these these models just games workshop just be putting out that stuff boy that plastic crack and again these are not brand brand new but they're new er so so i remember the old def coptas i had i had some yep i had an old orc army way back and i sold it off to a really good friend who already had a big orc army and he just wanted to get to apocalypse level and i was like let's do it so i sold him my army for as cheap as i could you know and he's he's it was awesome and then here's the last sprue kind of interesting that they have stems <laughs> little bases here is the orc boss in mega armor oh, this guy's dope looking He's got kind of like inching on his back. Here's a goblin or a gobbo just shooting from his back. So cool. I mean, it's total orky, you know what I mean? He's probably going to eat that Gretchen later, you know, if he gets hungry enough. Okay, here's the lads in their glory. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the same sprue uh, doubled up, maybe. Yeah, same true, doubled up. Uh, so I'll leave it there. You guys can pause and zoom if you want to see the details. I'll bring it up. It's fine. We'll bring it up. You see all that. Look at that. Look at that chopper, man. That's cool. All the orky goodness. Whew, I'm going to have a good time with these guys. I got something special planned for my boys. But there you go, man. 20 orc boys. That's that's a lot. Then we have we have the decals. Depending on what clan you want to put that well, evil sons, baby. Because they go fast. They're speed freaks. Then you've got your bases for your copters. Oop. And you have your base for your war boss and your base for your death dread. Alright, man, so there you go. That is the Warhammer 40k uh, combat patrol orcs. I'm excited to get these guys built. I'm excited to try out some new techniques, paint techniques with these guys, and some new techniques in general like i said i want to do the new basing style see how it works out for me and i want to use texture paint and all that cool stuff and you know see how it works out and hopefully this can be added to my speed wall and we'll see how it goes all right guys let's sit tight and i'm going to build these guys so we can all take a look at them all right sit tight all right everybody here it is man the warhammer 40k orc combat patrol this is everything that comes in the box you get your HQ, you get your, bo your boss in mega armor, you get 10 boys with one knob, you get 10 more boys with one knob, so it's, it's 9 boys and a knob. Um, you get 3 death coptas, and then you get 1 death dread back there. Um, as you can see, they're in the process of being painted, they're not complete yet, but I'm getting there, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll get there and no need to rush. So... Real quick, basically, these two boxes of boys are pretty much the exact same box. The only thing, I mean, they're push fit. And the only options you get is you can actually make, hold on, you can make a big shooter or a boy with a big shooter. 
or the one with the rocket launcher. So, I mean, you can see my guys are all like different stages of being painted. And then you get the knob torso, but you can make this guy with the power claw. I don't know why it's not focusing. You can get the power claw and the uh, pistol or shooter. No, that's a slugger. And then you get to make this guy with the open arm and the battle axe or big chopper. And then you've got like different heads, just the two different heads. The grill is the same. It's going to be the same on both. They just fit that way. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just colored them a little different just so that I could identify them on the table when I'm playing. Um, nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, these guys aren't going to have a lot of colors. They're not going to be super bright, uh, colorful orcs. They're going to be pretty bland uh, as far as most people are concerned um, because I'm making, I have a theme for them and I want to, I kind of want to do a uh, Mad Max Fury Road War Boys theme. So they're going to have the white skin, the black and gray pants, you know. Uh, I tried to like, and I'll probably do more, but I've tried to put some dust on the boots, you know. I, I've got some brown in there to kind of break it up a little bit. And I also have a couple guys. Uh, I can't find one right now. This guy here. Yeah. There's a couple guys with like uh, a red shoulder pad here, here or there. Um, just to kind of break up the squads. And I th I'm... I'm I'm going to throw red. This is a Speed Freaks army or a Speed Wall that I'm building. So I'm going to put red in parts of the models, like the boss, like the, the tunics are going to be red. You've got some boss poles. You've got some of the weapons red. There's going to be hints of red. His sh one shoulder pad is red. Um, but there's not going to be, I'm not painting them like, the, I, I want them to be evil sons, but I'm not painting them exactly like evil sons. They will have red and yellow in them. But they're not going to be, you know, the normal evil sons. Like I said, they're my war boys. Um, the Death Copters, same thing, you know. Uh, I did all the bases first because I just, I've never done that before. And I wanted to try it without the miniature on it. Um, my only uh, warning or concern is the propeller blade. Because there's, it's just put in by a tiny, you can see that tiny little stem. It goes just a little bit in there. So you might have to replace those because I've already got one just from sitting in the box that's wobbly you know his propeller blade is like eh, it's gonna, probably going to snap eventually so i'll have to pin it and glue it so i mean if you want to be to the punch just pin it and glue it or magnetize it whatever you know whatever floats your boat um the death dread <clears throat> you reach that guy i built him pretty much uh stand, i gave him the choppers or the big choppers or whatever i gave him three so he's got, he's got the buzz saw. Why aren't you focusing? He's got the double buzz saw, pinchy hand, and then he's got the super pinchy hand. And then I gave him a rocket launcher, but the rocket launcher part I actually magnetized. That's the only one that I magnetized. I didn't want to make him a shooty dread. I wanted to make him a, a choppy dread. So I have another choppy arm, so he can have quadruple the chopping power. And he, you know, it's basically just he gets uh one, two, three attacks, you know what I mean? So sorry for the shaky cam. But he gets, you know, three extra attacks in uh the charge. So it's not bad, it's fun, you know what I mean? It's it's a death dread. I'm not expecting a lot out of it, you know. Um I also did the uh the burner. You know, I, I just magnetized them so that I could basically, you know switch it up depending on the army I'm playing against. Um, I doubt I'm going to be playing against many armies that will be handled by flamers. And then I've got the, um, uh, I can't remember what this is called, but it's like their melt -a gun You know, it's like super powerful up close. So I don't know. This, this is a really good close combat combo right here. But, you know, roast them before you chop in. But there you go. Um, you, you also have options for the face plates. Uh, and where you want shoulder pads if you want extra ones. I I should have used the one that's on the box. I got the face on the from the box, and I really like that face. And I should have used the teeth from there. But I decided, I don't know, I'm going to change it up. So just in case, 
in case I decide I want to get another combat patrol. Because if I get another combat patrol, that will give me three more copters, which is a really good unit. Six def copters is really good. It'll give me another def dread, which I'll make the way I wanted to originally. It will give me the t the 20 boys, which is really going to fill out, you know, my my units because like the battle wagon can take carry 20 boys a truck can carry 10 so my goal is to have one more truck and one and a battle wagon um just to just to kind of again this is uh call to speed you know uh speed war war boys and the boss he's in mega armor right but i could turn him into a big mech in mega armor pretty easily like i i feel like this would be you know get rid of that boss pole this would be an easy conversion to a big mech probably get some different arms you know what i'm saying like even if i did decide to use the same arms you know i, I could i could kit bash something else you know what i mean i'm i um I, i've used i've tried my hand at kit bashing and it's not that difficult but whatever no, neither here nor there this I feel is a good buy today. Like right now in this time that we're in with the economy and, you know, all this other stuff, I feel you're getting a lot of stuff for your money, you know, but, but I know what you used to get in the battle forces, the original battle forces, the first box sets that came with uh models matter of fact the battle forces from third and fourth edition you got all this whoops sorry about that big guy you got all this right except that you probably didn't get a dread you probably got like killer cans or something or you know something of that nature something small like a buggy and a, i think you got a buggy and a truck and you got little pieces of scenery like those little corner buildings you know, like they always give you uh, the old, all the old GW games had them, a little corner piece, right? But you got a lot of stuff and it was less than $100. But again, you know, that was so long ago, you know, in this time, this is a good deal. Considering what those guys cost, what that guy costs, and what this guy would cost. You know what I mean? They, it's, it's, it's a pretty good deal. Um, I say if you're going to start an orc army... This is a pretty decent start. You could probably you could probably stand to get two of these, and again change this guy to a big mech, and you would have a really good size uh, foot foot slogger wah. You know what I mean? Like you you know, then you can fill out the rest of the army wherever you see fit, like commandos or burna boys or storm boys. You know, it flash gets. You know what I'm saying? You can get a bunch of stuff. Gretchen. Everybody says you got to add a, a unit of Gretchen to your army. I have no idea why, but hey, why not? You know, then you can go into the vehicles if you want. Battle wagons, DACA jets, trucks, buggies, whatever. But this is a really good start. You know, if you're looking to get it. I'm going to just go on the record and say for most of the combat patrols out right now, it is a really good start to an army if you don't have one or a really good buff to a pre-existing army if you're looking to change some models or you know what i mean like buff them up a bit add another detachment or battalion to your to your force but there you go that is the uh warhammer 40k orcs combat patrol box set i'm having a lot of fun with these guys and i'm pretty sure you guys will too i mean and as always guys you know like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next one